Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Your technical skills on the pitch are really important to become a really good player. Today I'm going to show you a few ways in which you can improve your technical skills using just two cones, a ball and a stick. Alright, so the big question is why do we need to be skillful? Why do we need to have a good technique? Why do we need to keep the ball on our stick? And the simple answer is it creates time. The more time you have to look, the more time you have to know where you are on the pitch, where the space is, the better player you will be. So the reason why we need to have the ball on our stick, why we need to be able to be comfortable looking around and having the ball on our stick, is simply to create time. And if you have time, you can make the right choice. All right, so there's a few ways that you can practice your technique, that you can get comfortable on the ball. The first one I want to show you is the simple Indian dribble, where you place yourself in between the cones and you try and move the ball from left to right. And what I want you to do is I don't want you to just dribble, but I also want you to look up, try and look around you, try and recognize things. If the ball jumps out, it doesn't matter. You come back, you dribble again, and you try to look up and try and see if you can get comfortable dribbling the ball and then trying to get your head up so you can see what's going on around you. That's the first one I want you to practice. Alright, so once you get the hang of that, of getting that dribble going in between your feet, what I want you to do is I want to try and allow you to go more left and more right because the defender in front of you obviously can move with you, so if you just have your head down doing this, it's not going to be enough. So the second exercise is you bring the ball outside here, you go one, two, three, four, five, and you bring it all the way to the left, one, two, three, four, five, and you bring it back, one, two, three, four, five, and then you bring it over here again, one, two, three, four, five. What that does, it allows you to get comfortable on the ball outside your feet. So right before you're about to eliminate someone, you can go left, you can go dribble, dribble, dribble. When the tackle comes, you can pull it right, dribble, dribble, dribble. And that allows you to be more comfortable on the ball in a bigger area, except just in between your feet. So try that one. Okay, so a slight add-on you can do to that one is to get comfortable bringing the ball from all the way right to all the way left. I think it's really important because you want to try and maximize your reach in your skills. So you want to go as far left and right as you can. So for example, you bring it all the way here and then break there. All the way right, all the way left, all the way right, all the way left. So what you're doing is you're getting comfortable on the ball, going as wide as you can, and where anywhere on the pitch you can use this skill, but it allows you to get comfortable on the ball as far right as far left. So we're going from here all the way here which is about a meter and a half, and that allows you to get a really wide range of skill that you can use. Hi everyone, do you want to copy me and mirror my skills? Check out the Be Like app and compare your skills to mine. Good luck. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're not going to only go left to right, but we're also going to try and create more dimensions by going up and down. And it's all based on getting more comfortable with the ball on your stick. So a way to practice that is to go really wide, and then from here, just try and go up, down, and then go left again, and go up, down, and left. Alright, so as in a normal game, you're not static on your feet like we were just now. What we're going to try and do now is try to combine the footwork and the movement with the dribble. One way to practice that is to start with the ball outside and to try and make some eight loops around, but not statically only with your hands, but try and move in with your feet as well. So what you're going to do every time you turn to a side, you're going to bring your feet in and you're going to turn back. So for example, bring the ball up, pull it down, you see my feet? Every time I'm stepping around with my feet, I'm trying to step around, come in, bring the ball up, bring the ball down. So then we get a nice rhythm going. We go up, down, up, down, up, down. And like that, we're making a little bow tie or an eight, however you will. And from here, 
trying to get the footwork going. To get comfortable on the ball, you need to get comfortable keeping the ball in your hook. So we're not just dribbling like this, but as you can see, once you go a bit wider, you want to get that ball in the hook and be able to pull it from all the way this way to all the way that way. And if I want to go there, then I pull it back. So you want to try and get comfortable getting that ball in the hook as if you're injecting a PC and try and pulling it and then trapping it and pulling it back. So that's the most important thing. What you also want to try and do now is you want to try and get a bit more dynamic. So not just going inside the cones, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go, for example, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to jump this way. We go one, two, three, four, five. You're going to jump back. You go one, two, three, four, five. Then this way. One, two, three, four, five. And then go back. Keep going around. Keep moving. Try and keep that ball on the stick. Alright, so there's a few ways that you can practice your skills. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like the video. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.